Yeah, welcome back to the computer the, the drawing class. In the last class, uh, we look at the interpenetrating curves of uh, two similar objects meeting at right angles uh, to each other. Okay, uh, we want to lay our hands again on two uh, similar curves but at an inclined angle uh, to each other. Okay, to recap again, uh, we carry out interpenetrating curves on geometric shapes like hoops, uh, cones, sphere cylinders, prism or pyramids, when they uh, meet or meet, when one or two of them meet with each other. Okay, and these curves are necessary uh, to be able to know the exact shape of the point of connection or the line of connection between the two solids. Uh, this is very useful for development. We'll see get to that later on. And it's also very useful when uh, the object is to be manufactured. So you know the size parts to cut and it's as a exact place uh, we are to be welded. Okay, so we go back to our inventor now. So we create a new part drawing. So in this case, we are looking at two similar objects inclined at an angle to each other. Okay, the first thing we do is to uh, create our sketch and select a plane just like what we have in the other class so i'm going to be a bit fast this time around so i'll create my sketch similar object i'm still going to use uh, 60 mm in the first class okay so after doing this the next thing we do is to extrude remember we are using a surface modeling okay and i said this is 90 mm so then go to home to see the entire object that you have created. Okay, so next is that we create a plane in the middle uh, along the longitudinal plane of the object created. So create a sketch on the plane and then watch again that uh, the sides of this object go to project cut edges. So there's a change on this. Now we can now create our sketch. Now we said we are creating an object inclined at an angle. So we draw a line at any, at any convenient angle and length uh, to this. Okay. Then we can now let's take some dimension to ensure uh, that this Uh, is what we want. So I'm going to use this as 30 degree. Okay. Uh, okay. I want to be sure that it's nothing here projecting beyond this. Okay. Let me be sure it's nothing beyond this. Okay. So this is going to, since there's nothing, so this is going to be. Let's uh, make this uh, 40 or 45. This is nice. So let's make this 40. Okay. This is a 40 degree. And then this line, let's make this line to be 70 like we have in the first case. Okay. Uh, since it's giving this a line, it's aligned and uh, if it's 70 mm. Okay. Now that we have done this, uh, we can now create a plane at the end of this line to control the second diameter. So to do before we can do that, we'll finish our sketch. Okay, then we create a plane on this. Okay, so here is our plane. And now we can produce a sketch on our plane. Okay, still on the same plane. Uh, we change our geometry to 
project geometry, not project cost geometry again. Then we'll produce your sketch, which is going to be the circle this time around. Okay, and that will be 60 mm likewise. Okay, we can finish our sketch now. All right, we can see this. Okay, so here's our new plane that I want to draw. Okay, so we can now go ahead to uh, extrude, extrude the new section. Okay, and we are using seven five, like where we have the first one. So here is what we are extruding. And it's going to be a surface model. So we we'll use this to be sure that everything is in that. Okay, fine. That's okay. And now we can okay. So once again, I'm going to make my remove the feasibility for my sketch and also for my plane. Okay. I remove feasibility for the plane. To the plane. Now, after doing this, we can now go to trim. Okay, so next trim, we have our trim. Observe once again. Once you click on trim, we have it as cutting tool is selected. Then below is asking you to select surfaces or wall plane or sketches. So this will be my surface. Okay. Now maybe you see that you see some uh, other things highlighted, and then this thing seems to remove. So I intend to remove uh, this. This I intend to remove this. Okay. I can apply. Okay. Uh, Hope that is good enough. Okay, there is something still on the other side that needs to be removed. So I think I may have to change my as this. So click on this. Okay. Once again, uh select on this and then you can get rid of this. Apply. Alright, now if you look at it critically, they are see other things to get rid of. Uh, I'll be on the inside of this. Okay, so I select a new surface again and then see. Waiting uh, here, this here, the taking care of. Okay, I think I can now apply. To look again critically, I think everything should be free now. Uh, one thing is that you need to actually know what you want to create, uh, so that will help you a lot to know what to remove and what not to remove. That understanding is uh, very key. Okay, I believe everything has been taken care of now, everything inside is free. All right, okay, I can tick move this, then you can go ahead to ticking. Uh, the object. So we'll do that to this. Okay, and then we'll do that to this. And okay. So as few, do you have anything in the middle here? Okay, that's perfectly fine. Okay. All right. So this shows how the two objects connect to this order. Okay, so I guess my height is a bit too much, that's why uh, we have this. Uh, don't let me try to change that, if I do it, it might alter everything, so let me just uh, leave it at that. Alright, so with this now we can go ahead and produce our, uh, our working drawing. Okay, so let me fit this to view. All right, so let me save this as a uh, uh, similar objects. 
similar objects applying to each other. Okay, so let me produce my working drawing for me. Working drawing. So ITW. Okay, here we go. Then we can create this. Wow, I think based on that we can select this as this. Okay, let's see. We have this, we have this, and then we have this. So you can look okay, we can also produce our isometric from there. But let me do this first. So we have enough space to do that. So we can also project our isometric car from there. So uh Well, basically, this shows how to also produce our the uh, interpolation curves for uh, two similar objects, but inclined at an angle to each other. So you can see the interpolation curves, which is this. We also see this on the side view. You can also see this on the front view. So that gives us uh, the interpolation curves for two uh, similar object but at an inclined angle to each other please go ahead and produce for the similar objects okay at the same angle at right angle angle to each other and also at inclined angle and we also be good for you to be able to produce for other uh, cases of interpenetration the one that has an offset and then the one that is uh, uh, that is connected to a cone please do this uh, it's going to be very useful when we get to the next topic uh, which is uh, development thank you